Hi you guys, welcome back. On today's video, I am going to be trying out some products from Winky Lux. I've already welcomed you guys, but I want to welcome you again because I am finally recording in my new studio and this is how it looks. If you've been following me for a while, you'd know that my background has been changing over time. And this one was the ultimate goal. It took longer than what I thought, but I think it was done in the most perfect timing. The reason why I say that is because I was sent my very first makeup box and I don't even know how to explain how much it means to me because it was something that I didn't see coming and I'm just so grateful. This was sent to me by Winky Lux and if you're watching, Thank you guys so much. So many great things inside. I just can't wait to share it all. So for today, I'm gonna to share two products. The first one is a tinted moisturizer and the other one is a concealer. I haven't tried these out, so this is going to be a first impression. Before I start, I just wanna share why I look so crazy right now. <laughs> all I've done to my face is just moisturize it. I did my brows, just a very simple eye look with mascara because I'm going to apply these. So this one's called the White Tea Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 30. It costs $28 and you can find this at Target, Ulta, and I know their website also carries it. It comes in seven different shades. It's infused with antioxidants and this is supposed to give a really nice glowing complexion. I'm excited to see how that looks. Packaging is just everything. I mean, look how gorgeous this looks. It has this florally print and it also has this like gold texture to it. Literally screaming spring vibes. I got it in the shade light and so we're gonna open this up. This feels very luxe, you guys. It's a plastic bottle, but it just feels really nice. It's a matte, silky finish. This contains one fluid ounce, and let's try it out. There's a pump to this, which I really much prefer pumps. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Whoa, okay. First impression on this, it's not going anywhere. It's not a runny formula whatsoever. I'm going to smell this now because I think that that's also very important to share if it has any sort of scent. Mm, it smells delicious. It smells like if it can be some sort of candy. It's a very muted, florally candy scent and I'm pretty sure it's the white tea. Let's blend this out. Ooh. It's a cream consistency and it is very dewy. Wow, look at this glow. I'm gonna use my finger to dot this all around my face. I'm gonna blend the left side of my face with my fingers and on my right, I'm going to use a brush. This is blending out very smoothly and like I said, this is a cream. It looks very natural. It has a very sheer coverage. It doesn't look heavy. It's not sticky, which I prefer. Look at this area right here by the cheek. It almost looks like I have some sort of highlight on, but it's all just this. So now I'm gonna use a brush on this side. I really like this, but I do wanna mention that it is a little bit oily. If I very lightly tap on my face, you can see that it does leave some of that shine on my fingers. If you have a very dry skin, I think it, you would really enjoy this. If you're a little bit more on the oily side, I think that you can also use this. Just put a little bit of powder on and that should do it. I'm going to apply some concealer and this one is called the Peeper Perfect. It costs $18 and there are nine shades available for this one. So a little bit more of a selection in comparison to the tinted moisturizer. It's supposed to be full coverage. It contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and collagen. It has that floral print also with gold. So let's give this a go. I got it in the shade light. It's a cute pink plastic tube and this contains 0.34 fluid ounces. 
So it's a very little product, but because this is supposed to be full coverage, I am crossing my fingers that this is going to go a long way. I took a very small pea size amount. This one is also not going anywhere. And this looks very, very similar to the moisturizer. It feels a little bit more heavy, but it's still very, very light. Wow. This does look like full coverage, you guys. Same creamy, dewy formula. And what I like to do with concealer is just tap and blend out because I want that lifted look here on the outer corner. I had it on for just a couple minutes and it hasn't creased at all. This is my right side now. I'm using a brush. I don't think I can see a difference. It looks just as great on both sides. This did increase. It has really nice coverage. I'm very impressed. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of powder. I know that my T-zone does get a little bit oily. That's where I am going to focus the powder. Very minimal. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then I'll be back to show you the final look. my final look and I am very happy with how this turned out. It's a very minimal look but this is my sort of go-to and if I only had it to pick one it's gonna be really hard to say because I feel like both of these are such a stunning combo. I said it throughout this whole video, both of these have the same finish, which just makes them very compatible. So I'm going to let you guys choose, but both of these I highly recommend. I think that's all for today, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. And if you like this video, I invite you guys to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Sending you all a bunch of love from this side and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.